Hey guys, it's Roman again and we have some more Gibson news. Gibson has recently filed a lawsuit against Armadillo Enterprises, which is the parent company for Dean Guitars. And Gibson is accusing Dean of infringing on seven of its trademarks. So they've lumped a few different things in this lawsuit, including the body shape of the Explorer, the Flying V, the ES, SG, as well as the dove wing headstock that Dean is famous for. The lawsuit was filed in a Texas court and basically Gibson accusing Armadillo Enterprises of trademark counterfeiting and misleading the public into thinking that Dean guitars have some association with Gibson. And Armadillo Enterprises has released a statement saying, we believe that Gibson's claims are baseless and will vigorously defend ourselves. As the proud owner of some of the most famous brands in the music industry, we respect and value the intellectual property rights of others. But we also recognize that some things are just too commonplace and basic for one company to claim as its property. And to note that Dean has been making the V and the Z-shaped guitars for over 40 years and just now Gibson decides to go after them. And we will see how far Gibson gets. They're just gonna make a lot of lawyers rich and drain a lot of money from Dean and just basically kind of to prove their point, kind of the opposite of what Mark was saying in the video that they're not trying to be bullies. The manufacturers out there, we want you to know that you've been warned. We're looking out. And this isn't about us trying to be bullies or trying to stifle the boutique marketplace. But there's just a lot of unhappy people about how this looks in the public eye for Gibson when the company went through bankruptcy and made some very poor choices in the past with some really strange technologies and products that they implemented into their guitars and with very poor quality that everybody literally talks about and the price is going really high and it doesn't really look good for Gibson right now. There's a lot of upset people and we'll see how things will turn out. Well, thank you guys for sticking around and uh, if there are any updates regarding this lawsuit or Gibson guitars, I'll be sure to report it to you guys. Thanks for watching.